was a question about war, how to stop wars. Wars cannot be stopped. War is the result of slavery in which men live. Strictly speaking, men are not to blame for war. War is due to cosmic forces to planetary influences. But in men there is no resistance whatever against these influences. And there cannot be any because men are slaves. If they were men and were capable of doing, they would be able to resist these influences and refrain from killing one another. But surely, those who realize this can do something, said the man who asked a question about war. If a sufficient number of men came to a definite conclusion that there should be no war, could they not influence others? Those who dislike war have been trying to do so almost since the creation of the world, said G. And yet there has never been such a war as the present. Wars are not decreasing, they are increasing, and war cannot be stopped by ordinary means. All these theories about universal peace, about peace conferences, and so on, are again simply laziness and hypocrisy. Men do not want to think about themselves, do not want to work on themselves, but think of how to make other people do what they want. If a sufficient number of people who wanted to stop war really did gather together, they would first of all begin by making war upon those who disagreed with them. And it is still more certain that they would make war upon people who also want to stop wars, but in another way. And so they would fight. Men are what they are, and they cannot be different. War has many causes that are unknown to us. Some causes are in men themselves, others are outside them. One must begin with the causes that are in man himself. How can he be independent of external influences of great cosmic forces when he is a slave of everything that surrounds him? He is controlled by everything around him. If he becomes free from things, he may then become free from planetary influences. Freedom, liberation, this must be the aim of man. To become free to be liberated from slavery. This is what a man ought to strive for when he becomes even a little conscious of his position. There is nothing else for him, and nothing else is possible so long as he remains a slave, both inwardly and outwardly. But he cannot cease to be a slave outwardly while he remains a slave inwardly. Therefore, in order to become free, man must gain inner freedom. The first reason for man's inner slavery is his ignorance and above all, his ignorance of himself. Without self-knowledge, without understanding, the working and functions of his machine, man cannot be free. He cannot govern himself, and he will always remain a slave in the plaything of the forces acting upon him. This is why in all ancient teachings, the first demand at the beginning of the way to liberation was, Know thyself. (laughs) 